Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday night. I did get about an hour and a half of sun today. I was able to lay outside. Thank goodness I got some color because I was really scaring myself there for a second. Today was very busy. I got a lot done. I woke up pretty early, decently early, because Sutton stayed the night and then he had a haircut like at 9 a.m. this morning. So thankfully him getting up early and out the door kind of got me out of bed. So that was really nice to get my day started. I edited a lot of different videos for TikTok and for Instagram and for YouTube. Prep some stuff for Europe because we are leaving this Friday for it. This vlog will kind of consist of packing and prepping for the trip and whatnot. I'll show you guys the different items and pieces that I am going to be bringing with me. I got a little surprise package in the mail. This is from an Amazon brand actually and live love Amazon. We love a good quality dupe on a budget. And so these are actually some work pants, I believe. It's from the Amazon brand G4. This is not sponsored, but these items are gifted. And I'm really, really excited to see how I like them and like what the quality is like. Finding stuff on Amazon for a discounted price is always so nice because it is crazy how much things cost these days. I feel like after being post-grad, you really start to realize how much things cost. And I feel like I always had a pretty good sense of like how much stuff costs, but oh boy. Going post-grad and being, you know, fully on my own with 90% of things, I still, you know, there's still a few things like I'm on my parents' health insurance and stuff like that. But other than that, I feel like I'm a pretty independent girl. It's been a big realization, but I am very excited about these pieces and I potentially want to wear them to work tomorrow. So first thoughts, these are very, very soft. I believe I got a large and everything. I also got the 33 inch inseam because I am a six foot girly. That's always a struggle with me is making sure pants are long enough on me. We also have a black pair. Okay, these ones are the crisscross. And then we have a pair of tan. These will be nice for work because I genuinely don't have very many business casual that I wear to work because I will say I'm very lucky that my work allows me to wear pretty casual like athleisure clothes because we are like a supplement company and it's just a little bit more of a chill vibe. I'm really curious to see how these fit so let's try these on. I just threw this black top on just so I could give you a better idea. They are very comfortable I will say like they're very stretchy. They, they just feel like yoga pants like they feel like business casual yoga pants. I do like how it has a little V right here. This is like what the back looks like. The length I will say is just perfect. If it were any shorter it wouldn't work on me I will say so if you're any taller than six foot maybe stay away from these 33 inches should work for six foot and below but I do really like these I think they're really cute they fit really well so these ones are the same as the tan ones I just had on but they're just black black is always a safe bet I feel like you can never go wrong with black and I'm excited to have slack like work pants that are just comfortable this is what the black ones look like these ones are a little bit different the biggest difference is that the waistband is straight across versus the v i'm not these have little pockets like little fake pockets in the butt i feel like they fit very well last but not least these are the same brown ones but in the black color i also got it in black because i feel like you can never have too much black and these ones are just the straight across ones rather than the V's. It has the pockets. These ones are a little bit bigger on me, I will say. They feel a little bit bigger. These ones do feel a little bit longer as well. So. Hello guys. So it is 7.05 and I am already in bed, fully ready for bed. This makes me feel like I'm so lazy and I could just be doing so much more. But I also have to remind myself it's Sunday. I had a really busy weekend. I didn't do much, but I also did so much at the same time. And I have been so proud of myself recently just with my motivation and everything that I've been able to get done and do that, you know what? It's fine that I'm in bed at seven o'clock on a Sunday night. It's totally fine. I also got my period today. I woke up with the worst little stomach pains and it felt like period cramps, but I was like, it's so weird because my aura ring was predicting that I wasn't going to get my period until after we got back from France. So I wasn't even expecting that at all. And then lo and behold, 
she decided to come along so that explained why my stomach was hurting this morning and I was like I know that feeling that's a specific feeling where it's like you literally feel like your uterus is like exploding that's what I was saying and that's the only time I feel that way is when I get my period so whatever long story short I got my period and I just have been feeling very chill today like I don't really feel like doing much I didn't want to push myself yet I did do a lot just like very sedimentary sedentary sedimentary is that when you like sit all day when you're sed sed sedimentary <laughs> oh god you know what I'm trying to say here and then after dinner I just went for a little walk around the neighborhood and I called my mom and caught up with her from the weekend while I was walking around so that was nice I think I'm just gonna read for a little bit you know when you're on your period the best thing ever the only thing you need is chocolate so I'm having some sweet chocolate Treat, like a handful of sweet treats before bed. Oh, I actually forgot about my plantain chips, but these are from Trader Joe's. They're the dark chocolate covered pineapple, pineapple gummies. They're pretty good. So I'm gonna sit here and read my book for a little bit. I have only been able to read this like a chapter at a time, which has caused me not to get very far. I am on chapter 10. All 10 times that I have been able to read this book, I've only read one chapter. So I wanna be able to read more than one chapter today. And I'm just now getting to the really good parts. It's in five years and I do really like it. Ugh, my stomach is really hurting. Like the cramps are really kicking in right now. I'm scared because this week, of work is going to be very scary just because there's a lot going on and I need to get this all done before obviously saying peace out and going to a different country for the week. My mind is going to be focused on France but it also needs to be focused on work and gathering like buttoning up everything with work before I leave that I feel like it's going to fly by so quickly. It also could go by very slowly because I'm going to be so excited and want to be in France already that like I'm just like eager for the week to be over but I guess we'll see. That's all the updates I have for you guys. guys good morning so I am currently at the gym I just got here it's around 5 30 I didn't sleep the greatest last night and I also like I said I'm on my period and I really try and not take Advil if I don't need to but I was really cramping this morning so I already took some Advil again I took some before bed last night because I couldn't fall asleep because my cramps were so bad it is leg day but the last thing I want to do is legs because I'm in so much pain. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to go to the outdoor section, like the outdoor turf, and do like a full body day, like a functional full body day. We'll do a little mix of everything. Let's go ahead and go in. I am just so excited to sit in the sauna after my workout today. I feel like the heat will make me feel really good.
Good morning, you guys. So I just got out of the shower and I did a little slick back to my hair. I tried something new when putting it up. Usually Mondays I like to have my hair up, but I put it in a ponytail and I split it in two pieces and then I wrapped them, tied them like a bow, and then put another ponytail in. So it's like kind of like a messy bun. I, I don't know. It might just look like a normal bun. I saw it on TikTok, so <laughs> thought I might try. I'm just gonna do some light makeup. I'm actually wearing the pants from G4 that I showed you guys last night. They're so comfortable. So I'm just wearing this. I'm gonna put on a little cardigan over top today. It's gonna be a great day. We are gonna get so much done and we're gonna feel productive and confident going into this week. It is going to be a very different week at work because my role is kind of changing. My role is changing and I'm taking on a little bit more responsibility and dabbling more into like the paid partnership side of things, which I personally am very excited about. Um, and I think it is gonna be like an amazing growing and learning opportunity within my role. All good things to come, but just, you know, it can always be a little bit nerve wracking doing something for the first time and being responsible for something on your own. I know when I last talked to you guys this morning when I was getting ready to go to the gym, I said that I did not wanna do a leg day at all and I just wanted to do like a functional full body day. I ended up doing a leg day and I'm very proud of myself that I just got it out of the way and over with because you know what? Now, if I really don't want to, I don't need to do another one this week. So, I mean, it's always the goal, but if I really don't want to, I don't have to. I'm proud of myself and it was beautiful outside this morning. I worked out on the turf and it felt so good outside and then I did about 20 minutes in the sauna. For some reason the other night when Sutton was over and we were baking our little Italian inspired dinner, the stove slash oven just completely stopped working mid cooking. And thankfully all of our food was like fine and ready to go. I don't know why that happened. So I put in a maintenance request. I haven't heard anything yet. I'm assuming they just don't work on Sundays, but hopefully the be in here pretty early today because I bought groceries for this week and I can't use the stove so I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do if I can't use the stove to cook anything I guess we'll see hopefully they'll come today they're usually really good about it and hopefully it's not a huge issue and it's not like my stove needs to be replaced or anything I had to get pretty creative and I'm actually proud of myself. I air fried my eggs <laughs> in my toast because that's the only appliance that I have working right now, but it actually turned out really well. I didn't think about this till after the fact, but I should have just done eggy in the middle so it would have been contained because I don't have things to keep the eggs together. So I should have just done like bread and put the egg in the middle, eggy in the middle. My mom used to do that for me all the time growing up, but I didn't think about that until afterwards and I was like, ooh, okay. But it's fine. They turned out okay. So I'm gonna eat this. Uh, but yeah, I made it. It was successful. So I just finished breakfast and it's about 8.50 now. I am heading to work. I wanted to put this. Ooh, oh my God, this smells so, this smells so good. This is like the Table Rock little car scent thing and it smells insane. Oh my God, that's gonna make my car smell so good. We're heading to work now. I don't know why, but I'm like really hungry still. <laughs> I just had my toast and my eggs, but I'm still hungry. Hannah, who is one of our coworkers, she runs the TikTok page. She just messaged us on Slack and was like, what are your coffee orders? I wanna pick up Frothy Monkey for us. What a queen, she's so sweet. And so that made my Monday. So I got a new coffee that I haven't tried before, the Havana Latte from Frothy Monkey. I always love getting coffee from little coffee shops. And Frothy Monkey is so good, It's you can never miss, so. It is a little after five o'clock, I just left work and I'm stopping by FedEx to drop something off. Today was a fine day, it honestly went by pretty fast. I am starving, I don't know why today I've been so hungry. Maybe it's because I did leg day and it just was more intense workout than usual, but I am ready to go home and make dinner. I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm sweaty, I'm sweaty, I'm sweaty. All right, we are heading home now from the gym. Today I did chest, try shoulders, 
then a 25 minute sauna sesh. I worked outside for half of my workout and then I did half my workout inside, which was really nice. And I'm really trying to do that at least three times a week for part of my workout because it's so good to get direct sunlight for the first 90 minutes of being awake. Today is hair washing day and I think I'm gonna stay at Sutton's house tonight because he had asked me to help him pack and like kind of go through what he, he needs and doesn't need for France. So I'm gonna help him tonight. So I just got out of the shower and I did a nice little everything shower. Those are always the best and getting ready for work now. I'm gonna do some light makeup as always, nothing crazy. God, I'm trying to grow my nails out because I wanna paint them before I go to Europe so I don't want them to be like little nubs and I'm starting to get like really bad hangnails on the side. They are the worst. Like once they start, I can't stop and I have to pick at them and then sometimes it's not just a one one take and then I end up just like fucking up my nails. Today's already Tuesday. I felt like either this week was gonna go by very slow or very quick and I feel like it's right now just at a good pace and I'm scared today's gonna fly by and then before you know it, it's gonna be Wednesday and I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, we have to leave in 48 hours for this trip. It hasn't really hit me that I'm flying to Europe in a few days, which is gonna be so crazy. I feel like traveling is not as prevalent in my days now, you know, being full time and everything as it used to be. Um, I feel like I was always on the go and like always traveling and I still feel like I am pretty like consistent, like we're always kind of doing something, but it's definitely more like travel like within the US and stuff or like road trips or just small journeys versus big trips. I don't really ever get to do this that often anymore. And the last one I really went on that was pretty big was last summer. So it's been a year and I'm so beyond excited to be going with Sutton too so he can experience Europe firsthand. Of course I'm going to document the whole thing and vlog for you guys our little trip. It's kind of crazy how fast this entire summer has flown by. We move in just a couple weeks which is so crazy and the craziest thing is is that we haven't even seen this house that we're moving into or that we signed the lease for which is kind of wild. The market honestly with rentals has not been great right now especially like in the price range in the neighborhoods that we're looking in so it was very slim picking and you know a lot of things pop up a day of and then like they go away 24 hours 48 hours after and a lot of the stuff that was available is kind of available immediately so that kind of put us all on edge a little bit because we were like all right well, we we need to find a place and not many places are popping up within our price range and the location that we want and like obviously having it three bedrooms three bathrooms we could find so many three bedrooms two and a half bathrooms but now i feel like all of us being 24 23 years old like we want to have like our own space which is totally understandable so we came across a place and it was in like an, a location an area that we really liked and actually me and abby had driven around this neighborhood months ago like kind of like right when we first moved to nashville and we drove past this little neighborhood and abby said word for word there's not many places i would choose to live in a specific area that we were in but she was like i could totally see myself living here like i would love to live here and it's crazy that she said that because that is literally where we're going to be moving which is so full circle we had seen property pictures of all of the units like around that house but for some reason they would not upload pictures of this specific unit so i don't know if that's a red flag or not but i'm like okay these houses were built just a couple years ago all of them are predominantly the same we found some with like the same layout and square footage and we have pictures of those but they just keep saying that the lease person is still in there and they you know have to paint it and do some things before it's like move-in ready so nobody's been able to like tour it and stuff like that and we're like all right and it makes it worse because like leasing company that is leasing this house is not local to nashville like they own properties all over the country i don't know there's not really someone direct we could talk to our lease is supposed to start september 1st it is august 11th or august 12th right now so just over two weeks we will be moving into that house and thankfully our lease it overlaps 30 days in this apartment so we'll be able to move things over pretty slowly and like kind of at our own pace which is really nice and we won't have to like you know rent a u-haul or any of that and we'll have like the boys help to help us three floors it has like a bigger living room higher ceilings brighter kitchen island wine cooler that's also the same weekend labor day weekend that all of our friends are actually coming in town because virginia tech plays vanderbilt which vanderbilt is here in nashville because they're coming to nashville to play the football game it's actually the very first football game of the season everyone is coming to nashville and they're all going to stay with us and the boys and it's going to be one big reunion it's going to be so fun bella's flying in from new york it's crazy because like i went from seeing bella all the time 
and now she lives in New York City and I live in Nashville and just things are obviously more expensive and life is more chaotic and it's harder to plan times to see each other. So I'm so excited she's coming to Nashville. She also hasn't been here since I have moved to Nashville, which is kind of crazy. So she'll get to see this apartment and my new house. Aaron and Taylor are also coming. It'll be so much fun and such a good weekend and I will try to vlog that weekend for you guys. As I said, I want to focus on quality of the videos rather than just pushing stuff out there. So maybe it'll be like a little integrated vlog. So I get back from Europe on that Sunday, the 26th, and then Bella flies in on Thursday, the 30th. That is going to be crazy. I'm going to be barely even settling in from my trip and I will already be ready for the next like go around of events. It's crazy how the end of the summer and just this entire summer and this entire year has flown by so quickly. Bittersweet, but crazy and weird. And time just needs to slow down. For lunches this week, I'm just doing Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's, like little individual ones. Just doing a little yogurt parfait. 14 grams of protein in them. And then I'll add like half a scoop to like three quarters of a scoop of protein powder once I get to work. The strawberry Dole Whip one, it's really good inside of it. It also mixes really well. Just to get some extra protein in. I did homemade granola. I'll show you guys this recipe the next time I make it. I'm almost out. So when I get back from Europe, I'll show you guys how I made it. So easy and you know exactly what ingredients are in there and it's so good. You can add anything you want. I really want to try doing like a dark chocolate cherry granola. For some reason, our oven literally broke again last night. I don't remember if I told you guys about that before I went to bed, but I was making dinner again and lo and behold, it just cut off again. I think maybe there might be something that's low. I don't know ovens. I don't know the whole electrical wordings for it and whatnot. It might be broken. Like I think it might be on its way out because if this keeps happening, that's gonna be annoying. Good thing we are literally moving out soon, but it is broken again. So we are making our eggs in the air fryer again, but this time we're gonna do the eggy in the middle because that is a lot easier and less messy. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. Just take a cup. I'm taking one like this size and then you're gonna press a little hole and then Voila, it comes out. This part was actually my favorite when I was a kid. Oh my God, how do I get this out now? This would always taste the best. It's really good if you like put butter, get the oil and soak up the oil on it so it gets toasty. This is what my mom and my grandma would always make me and my siblings growing up. And it is so good. It brings back so many memories. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this. And if so, do you call it eggy in the middle or do you call it like eggy in a basket? I've heard people call it like different things. Childhood favorite for sure on the weekends. So we're gonna crack an egg in the middle these. Look how cute. Salt and pepper. All right, eggy in the middle time. All right, guys, we just made it to the office, so I am going to go in. I made my coffee to go and brought it with me. So I just got home from work. It is 5.20. Unpacking my bag for the day. Just unloading my dirty dishes. Like I told you guys, I'm gonna stay at Sutton's house tonight to help him pack for Europe. Yeah, apparently maintenance came again today, thankfully, but like I am just nervous that it's gonna break again and I will be very upset if it does. Since I am staying at Sutton's, my gym that I go to is like on the other side of town. So I kind of want to try the new gym that's in Nashville. We, through my work, we get like a discounted membership at, which I haven't tried it yet. It just opened up I and mean, I wasn't planning on switching to that gym until I got back from Europe because it would just make sense because when I move, everything will just kind of be in that area. But place where he lives is closer to that gym than it is to the gym that I go to. So I was going to see if I could just do a day pass tomorrow morning so I think I might do that. I'm gonna bring all my workout stuff just to stay there, go straight to the gym, come home, shower, change, get ready for work. So I'm gonna prep all my stuff that I need for that. But today was a good day. It was very busy. We're trying to lock in some deals for an upcoming Disney campaign that we're actually running with Dole Whip. We worked with Dole Whip to come out with strawberry Dole Whip and pineapple Dole Whip. We work out in vegan protein. And this is by far my favorite protein that we have. This and brown sugar oatmeal. It's just the smoothest consistency, I would say. It's also 100% natural, which I really Really like but I actually ran out at home so I brought another one back with me because this one is also my favorite one to just drink with water besides brown sugar oatmeal brown sugar oatmeal and this one and then our chocolate you can really drink you know with water 
but some of them I feel like I just like to drink in like smoothies or with almond milk. I brought this home and I haven't had my protein shake today, so I'm actually gonna make this right now. Gosh, my eye is twitching. I don't know what it's been. I don't know if you can even see. This eye has had like a major problem with twitching recently, and of course it's not twitching right now as I'm talking to you guys, but if you guys know why eyes might twitch, specifically it's this one. Every time I look it up, it's like says it's stress, but I don't know. It'll twitch like at the most random times of the day. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but Kelly said that she's gonna bring in Star Bagel tomorrow morning for work. That is gonna be so fun. I haven't had Star Bagel yet and I'm making my way, my rounds through all the bagel shops in Nashville. So I'll be very excited to see what Star Bagel is all about. It's always just fun having a little breakfast or coffee in the office this week. We're being spoiled. We got Frothy Monkey on Monday, Star Bagel tomorrow. I packed up my bag and I got in my comfy clothes and everything and I just finished making dinner. It is about seven o'clock now and I am watching some YouTube on TV. I just made broccoli, tilapia, rice, and I'm having a little bevy with my dinner. And Sutton is playing pickleball right now. He's been in his pickleball era. So I'm just gonna wait for him to get home to give me the green light to come over. And then I'm gonna go over there. Excited to go to the gym tomorrow at the new gym. It's gonna be really nice. I'm kind of nervous. I hope it's like not a bunch of scary big gym dudes, but it'll be fine. Smells good in here. Not me. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> why? Because I'm eating rice, Brussels sprouts, and two eggs. Ew. I just got that on video. <laughs> wow, it's clean in here. Yeah, Jake just cleaned up. Oh my god, guys, I don't think you've ever seen the boys' house. Look how beautiful their kitchen is. It's incredible. Scott? to the boys house. Sutton's making dinner. What is going on with my face? What is like, why am I like red everywhere? I just had, the reason I'm late, Sutton, is because I got a bloody nose. And of course this had to be the worst bloody nose that I've had in so long, it wouldn't stop. I think it went on for like 15 minutes. Wow. You should have seen, I, went, I think I went through like an entire toilet paper roll. <laughs> Cause it wouldn't stop bleeding. Your nose? Yes. It was so bad. I hate when that happens. Also, I meant to talk about this earlier. Remember this morning when I was making my eggy in the middle? Sutton, did you see my TikTok? I did, I liked it. Did you see how many people commented on it? Yeah, uh, I saw it pretty early on, but like I saw 20. Oh. So many people are calling it different things and it's so crazy. I need you guys to comment down below. What do you call that breakfast? Cause I always called it eggy in the middle. Did you have that growing up? No. You didn't? Wow, that's crazy. Let Maybe me know what you thought, guys call it. Maybe they thought yours was weird. I don't know. Eggy in the middle is cute. One of them was sunrise toast, which I thought was cute. Are you making that for me in the morning? If you want me to. Do you have the stuff for it? No. You don't have eggs? I have two left. Oh my goodness. No breath. How are you surviving? I'm surviving. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else's boyfriend never ever go grocery shopping? Until like he well, literally. I'm, I'm leaving Friday. I know. You didn't have groceries like last week. You could have gone. I swear our boys are so easy to pack for. He's just gonna bring his Burks, P448s. This is his airport outfit. All of these are his shirts that he's gonna be bringing. And then these are all of his pants and bathing suits and shorts. So easy. I think we did that in what, 10 minutes? Probably less. Good morning guys. So I'm just leaving the gym now and I'm heading home. It is about 7.30. So overview and thoughts on the gym. It was my first time going, so I still wasn't like, I didn't explore the entire thing. I just, I did back and by today. So I kind of just stuck in the area that like I needed, but I know it goes like further back. I just didn't go back there yet. I didn't check out the outdoor part, which I am very curious about. It's so weird because the gym I go to now is so wholesome and there's families there. There's like all ages. It's like old people, parents, kids, my age. And it's just so wholesome. Like, I love it. I feel like when I went to this gym, it, don't get me wrong, like it was beautiful and so nice and new. Age demographic is definitely 21 to 30. I don't think there was like anyone older there. Actually, there was like maybe like two or three like older guys that I saw that were there or like moms. But for the most part, it was 20 to 30 age range. They were all so strong, but it just is such a different vibe and like demeanor when you walk in. It's like, this is serious. Like people are there to lift really heavy weights. So it kind of intimidated me a little bit, but 
It's a beautiful gym and I know I'm gonna love it. The amenities are amazing. It has like cold plunge and sauna, which I think is like very important. The gym that I currently go to has a sauna, but it is small and it is shared between men and women, which I find gets like a little stuffy sometimes and kind of a little gross versus I liked how this sauna was in the women's locker room and then they also have one in the men's locker room, so it's separated. But I will say the sauna wasn't hot at all. Usually when I go to the sauna at my gym, I go in with like three sweat towels and I leave it like dripping and I can barely stay in there for like 15 minutes. Versus this one, I didn't bring any sweat towels with me and I was just sitting in there with my phone and I was like, this is not hot. Like it just felt like I was in like a warm, doing warm yoga or something like that. Like it didn't feel hot. So I'm wondering if I ha like am allowed to change the temperature on the saunas. I would assume they would just like have it at a regular like hot temperature. So maybe I need to ask about that. It also takes like a long time for the sauna to heat up. When I was in it today, I looked at the temperature and it was only at 158. And usually I feel like the one at the gym I go to is like 190. So that's like a big difference. I don't even think it was 158. It didn't even feel like that. It literally felt like maybe 100. <laughs> Besides the point, I'm proud of myself for going because I was very nervous and trying new gyms always does get me a little anxious, but I know like once I get the hang of it, like I'll be fine. I just don't know where anything is right now and I think that's what kind of stresses me out. I'm gonna go inside, have a protein shake and take a shower and then get ready for work and Kelly's bringing bagels today. And I'm so excited for that. So I started packing a little bit. It got like really hectic, so I didn't vlog anything, but I'll kind of show you my progress so far. And I feel like it's kind of, it's so crazy how fast boys can pack. I literally got something stuff done so quickly, but I feel like there's so many little things that I need, like makeup, jewelry, accessories, toiletries. This is gonna be kind of like miscellaneous toiletries, but in this bag, I had to put all like my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, makeup remover, contact solution, body lotion, dry shampoo, cause contact case, perfume, sunscreen, chapstick, all of that in here. So I labeled everything, which is really nice. Over here has all of my makeup that I'm gonna be packing with me in this little bag. And then all of this is gonna have my accessories. So my sunglasses and all of my jewelry in here. And then this will be my little bag for my electronics. So I have SD cards, adapters for the charging ports, my film camera, extra film for the camera, the light, all my chargers. I'm charging these little portable chargers right now. I I was deciding kind of which outfits go with which shoes because I want to bring very minimal shoes. I'm going to bring one pair of heels which go with these outfits and then bought from Amazon these little shoes from Amazon both in this tan color and the black. I wasn't sure which would go with more in the moment because I don't want to bring both pairs. I want to just bring one. Overall most of my outfits do all of them look great with these ones? No like some of them look better with the black shoes but 90% of them looks good with the tan ones so I'm gonna return those black ones tomorrow and just keep these tan ones and they're really comfortable they're from Amazon they were like $30 I'm just gonna bring three purses I'm gonna bring this as like my beach bag it has a zipper too which is nice my white little purse and then my black Pauline Paris purse, I believe, to go with everything. So I got some things, last minute packages in the mail that I wanted to show you guys. So this is the new bubble dress, I guess, or bubble skirt that like everyone has been kind of going crazy over. And so it actually wasn't supposed to come in time, but it ended up coming today. I wish I got the white, black and white one with the black top and the white skirt, but I got the all black one. I'm gonna try this on and I'll show it to you guys right now. I'll link all these Amazon items that I got too in the description box below. I also got two new little pieces from G4. I showed you guys those pants earlier in this vlog and there were two more items that I was waiting on. This is a pair of like white pants. So I'm gonna try this on for you guys. And then this is a cute little blue skirt. So I'm gonna try this on for you guys and show you it. These are the white ones and they fit really well. They're a little bit looser. They are a little tiny bit see-through, but I think they could be cute to wear just like lounge-esque. They're also straight leg, pretty cute. Honestly, I could bring these with me to Europe. Should I? Like they're kind of cute. I could wear them on the plane. <gasps> Wait, that could be cute. I might pack these with me actually. You guys, the skirt is so cute. I could wear this with a white little tank top. Super cute, I love the color of it. It's also so comfy. And I like how this is a very thin 
material right here. It has shorts underneath of it. And I do love this little cross band right here. This is adorable. I do wish I got the black and white color blocked one, but I think this is so cute. It's so comfortable and just so airy. Little shorts underneath of it, just so there's no mishaps. And I could wear this with little black heels at night. I could wear it out in Paris or in Nice, or I could dress it down with some tennis shoes during the day and just wear it comfortable. Pass for me, I'll leave this Amazon link down below. Good morning guys, almost 6 a.m. Just got ready for the gym and I'm gonna go to the apartment gym today because my membership officially ended at my other gym and I'm not gonna sign up for the new gym until after I get back from the trip. So we're gonna go to the apartment gym today. I think I might also run outside. I finished up at the gym. I just did kind of a full body day. I did two upper body and two lower body circuits. And then I ran about like a mile and a half outside around my complex. And then I walked for like another 10 minutes or so. I just showered and got ready for the day. This is the skirt that I showed you guys last night from G4. It is so cute. Let's go make some breakfast. We're gonna have an amazing Thursday. I already know today's gonna fly by. We're gonna finish up packing later today. I got this little steamer in yesterday. I Amazoned it. It came in the same day. So I thought this would be good to have because we have a lot of linen with us, obviously going to Europe, and it's so tiny and perfect. So I'm gonna bring that with us. Happy travel day. It is currently Friday morning. I have been up since 5.30 today, grinding it out. I went to the gym, did laundry, cleaned up the whole shebang, got our bags packed. This is my suitcase with plenty of room to spare for extra goodies I wanna buy. These are our outport outfits. Sutton is at work right now, but he's gonna leave around lunchtime to come home and like shower and whatnot. I got my Beats for free with my computer purchase at the Apple store my freshman year going into college. And finally this morning when I was at the gym, they snapped like in half on me. I have worn them so much, they've been through so much. So so I knew that time was coming. I truly love my beats, but I think the time is here where I need to go and get AirPods again. They're also better and easier to travel with as they're smaller and the charging is a lot easier. I actually got an Apple gift card, I think for Christmas, last Christmas for my dad. Now I can use that. So I think I'm gonna place an order at the Green Hills Mall, pick up AirPods around lunchtime. I have a few campaign details for work and whatnot that I wanna just get finalized and buttoned up before I leave and I need to send out an email to all of our athletes letting them know that I'm going to be out of office and if they need anything who they can contact and whatnot. I need to set up like my out of office reminders. I'm just getting a few contracts signed for a campaign that I'm finalizing for the beginning of September so that's really exciting. Lots of stuff going on right now. I also am creating an activation for a launch that's happening next week so I'm really really busy but we're gonna get it all done. We're just being you know snappy with it. Very productive. Have not been on my phone like at all. Very proud of myself. I did self tan last night so I am looking a little tan. I also painted my nails and I also painted my toes and then I whitened my teeth. We just are feeling good. This morning I took an everything shower, washed my hair. I'm gonna blow dry it and straighten it before we head out tonight for our flight. I will bring you guys along. I'm gonna go finish up a little bit more work. I'm also not sure if I should do the AirPod Pros or just the regular AirPods. The AirPod Pros are like $100 more and they have like the noise canceling. They're also just a little bit newer, but I've heard that some people don't like that. So I'm not sure if I should just do the regular ones or the noise canceling ones. That is the end of this little vlog. I just blew out my hair and I'm wearing this as my little travel fit. I'm just gonna throw on a little sweater and we're good to go. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys when we get to France. Bye guys.